Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and um, basically texture part of the interior of the car, which is going to be our seats um, and the interior cage portion of our car. So we'll go ahead here and bring up the hypershade window. Go ahead and create two V ray materials here. I'll maximize the workspace there. And we'll use this V-Ray material 18 as car seats and this V-Ray 19 as car cage. And we're just basically going to use the same process that we used for the luggage here. Is we're just simply going to plug in some image maps. So we'll go ahead and select this car seats one. Go into the attribute editor here. Plug in a file node car seats and select the, the file turn the filter type to off and just grab an image that we need here which would be no I think that's going to be the interior cage portion of the car we're going to use the, the seats JPEG apply this And you can see that this is definitely going to need to going to need to be uh, scaled up a ton here. It looks like it's you know going to be like a leather type interior, but we definitely need to scale this up. So we'll go into the place 2D texture node there, turn the mirror on in the U and V direction, and we'll see what 15 by 15 looks like. Um, that looks okay, but we're probably going to go ahead and jump that to 20 and 20. And that looks a lot better. Go into the actual material portion of the car seats here. And I want it to be somewhat reflective. I don't want it to be, you know, an, an extreme amount of reflectivity to the letter. I basically want it to look a little bit shiny. So we'll turn the reflection color up here to say something like a, a darkish gray but turn the amount down a little bit and we're going to change the reflective glossiness here a little bit down a little bit and we're also going to um, change the reflection subdivisions up here to probably something like 15 so it's real smooth whenever it goes to render and that's looking um, pretty decent right there so let's go ahead and apply the car cage material shader to all the interior portions that we need to go ahead and do it to which will um, be the mirror here or portions of the mirror here as you can see I have to reverse the normals on that there and on the back there we'll go ahead and plug a file node into this as well and we just need to set the image of what it's going to be here and there you go you can see that our well, we don't want that mirror glass to actually be that color so we'll change the mirror glass back to the Lambert 1 material here and you can see that we uh, <coughs> have the interior of our car pretty much ready for texturing or I'm sorry ready for rendering with all of our materials applied except for you know the seat belts which we'll be doing um, in the next lesson here and I just want to edit this car cage material a little bit turn the reflection up to white and turn it down to something like point oh oh two five which will give us a little bit of reflection but not a an extreme amount of reflection and you, there you can see that it are car textures are you know starting to come along very nicely 
and you know we're really trying to keep organized here and so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and um, start texturing our seat belts and the rest of the, the rest of our car